Hi everyone, this is Effie. I'm here for part two of curating your Christmas or my basically my journal setup. So the first thing I want to show you is this homemade box that I made. It's just a cardboard box and I put in one, two partitions and a little one in the front and it lives down here. Let me just pick this up because that's not meant to be on the floor. And um, it's easily accessible. So what I do is I keep my 6x6 six six papers at the back. This year I'm going to be working with my mind's eye. I fell in love with it. Um, that's a few things from last year. And that's my speciality paper. So all the 6x6 six six sheets stay at the back. My alphas stay in front here. So this is what I've pulled. There's some new stuff, some stuff that I had in my stash. That's a bit of bling. I got the 6x6 pad as well. Here it is. And this other 6x6 pad, I'll show you what that is. These are just some little envelopes that a friend gave me. Put that in there. It's lemon craft and a friend here in Greece sells it, so I bought some. It's actually quite nice for cards and stuff. I've taken out all the Christmas things because hopefully I'll get some layouts done as well this year. From Especially from years gone by. I haven't done much of layouts from last year. In here I have some of the flowers I might use. Can you see? Um, some numbers. I'm going to change up the numbers this year so every day we'll have a different number. Some horrendous um, prima flowers from that stupid box that I ordered. That's an old stash. That's also old. That wasn't even in the box. Then I got these horrible little gifts in the warehouse sale box. I paid $65 to get it shipped here and it was really, really horrible. So I've also got these, maybe use one or two of these, some brads, I thought these will be pretty too. And so that's what's basically in here. Okay, if you give me a minute, I'll just put it down. There we go. So there it is. Can you see? It's out the way and really accessible. I like my stuff to be near me. I'm busy working on that. That's like a project I'm making. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'll put the butterfly or the star on it. I'll see. See the little dimensional star. Really quite cute. Then a friend um, bought me a freckle fawn embellishment kit from last year. So that I've opened this and that's all in here. Different numbers, little accents. I cut up the little acetate sheet and put them in there. Some Tim Holtz stars. I don't know how well you can see this. Some brads, some flares, some little snowflakes, more little metal snowflakes from Tim Holtz. These are these goodies. I think that's ideology. And uh, some of these paper clips. The glue dots they use to stick these Prima uh, little paper clips onto the packaging don't want to come off. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm actually going to have to clean them with some alcohol. And that's some metal bits. And some labels and some more labels with gold foil. And some punchinella for some little bit mixed media. And then this flips over and there's space here for some more goodies. Okay, let's see. This is the paper that I showed you in the first video. That I told you cuts nicely on the silhouette. But you can actually see how fine it is. Maria had cut this and that was on the invitation. So I want to put that in my book. Here's some more of the freckled fawn um, yumminess, gold bow, some washi. I may still 
select one or two more washies to go in here. And then I made some of these. These are two dimensional to go into the journal by rough. And um, but maybe on my front page or maybe for some Christmas embellishments, I still want to do that, you know, for gifts and stuff, for shopping bags. These are the tiny little uh, die cuts. So I put them all in here. It's a couple of packets of various stuff. Some pink paisley, some simple stories. There it is. And these are Heidi Swap uh, mistables in there. And some die cuts in there, a selection of stuff, some homemade stuff, some Heidi Swap, some leftovers from years gone by. So that's basically the small ones. And then um, besides me, I have a box, a little beautiful hand um, beaded basket with various ribbons. I've got the majority of my twine on my buffet behind me and in here I have some gold accents and then what I did and I keep this box on my race card on top of my journal those are project life cards I first thought of, of emptying this card and putting all this stuff there but I thought that would be too much of a hassle so I made this box out of recycled um, coffee pod containers so that's a whole lot of embellishments from previous years. So what I do, I just keep them together like this so they don't explode. And I've put it in here so I can remember to use it. In here is are my stamps. I've put these two, three small little ones in this box because this is a box I'll have besides me all the time. So that I can remember to use my stamps because I forget to use stamps. And I've got so many. Some enamel dots, some bling, some more bling. A little um, cork Christmas tree. Those are cute. These are horrendous from the Prima box as well. I don't think I'll use those. I don't know why I even put them in there. Then in this section here, I've got the bigger die cuts. I've mixed all the makes together and I'm expecting uh, Chamel's journal Your Christmas in a Box to arrive as well. So I love those stamps. So I fell in love with it. So I bought it. These are from Ikea, the labels. That's some post-its. I think I might need those just to keep spaces. You know, if you still want to print a photo or make notes. My twine. Some blingy twine. And these are... Some things are stamped and the rest are snowflakes and various die cuts, homemade cut die cuts. So that's in there. I took out some of my Christmas stamps and they're next door to me. And then over here, are, that's my glue that I need. At the back here I have my small word stickers which can be used. I've got some of my enamel dots and my stash. I've got uh, these stickers. I left this here because I thought I might want to use little words and little small alphas and stuff. I might even use some of these. We'll see what what's what. Even the little um, photo things, the photo stickers I've left here because I may use them. And I'm just going to flip around and show you what I did with my stamps. My stamps all live in this middle drawer here. I love these drawers because I'm now sitting on my chair and the stuff is right next to me. During the year, I take my stamps and I, and I push them right at the back of this drawer. So what I did, I just went through all the stamps. Everything that I thought I may use, I brought it in the front and I filed it in here. So that's all Christmas stories and... Um, maybe one or two small ones over there so that's basically the setup so I love and leave you with that I wish you all well I hope you have a peaceful and festive season and I hope your lives are full of love 
And if we need to change the world, I think if each one of us has love, everything will be fine. Bye.